Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back to play some more Baldur's Gate 3. We had an awesome start last time. We created our guy, we met some cool companions, and we have our mission of getting this weird uh, slug thing out of our brain, <laughs> right? Like, we gotta get rid of it. Um, and we are outside of a goblin camp right now, I believe. And so we're gonna we're gonna venture on in there and see what happens. So before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying this gameplay, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you would like to support me outside of YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon. That is linked in the description down below. Uh, or consider following me on any of my social media. But other than that, let's play some more Baldur's Gate 3. Goblin camp. All right, here we go. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bot. How's it going, guys? The stranger in the Apollo, my father and wife, for great glory. Who are you? Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work the Indian caper made. Hilarious. Burnt to ash, the captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filth any. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul. Had let you go <laughs> yeah. Give him my attention. Oh, sorry. Am I am, am I not allowed? To, uh, I'm not allowed to cheer for you. If you say so. Why a tick? That a friend of yours? Certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying to you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> oh, a derpy little smile. Draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose. Uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, oh man, um, you're struggling. Him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin. We pay. We come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Okay, I need to rescue him. Come on. Of course, you are. And I grip on idiots. Right, yes. No fool me. Okay. So I need to just like figure out how to rescue him. Grat the traitor is slightly drunk. Are you talking about me? Fresh dissolve with me bare hands. We couldn't pick this humans. You talking about me? <laughs> you got him good. And who are you? Another best elves. Think you rule the world. We do. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hmm. That one. 
Oh, I only need a two, so heck yeah. Add that one. And roll that shiz. 18, let's go. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. F forgive me. I had no idea. And the other true soldier are inside. They're planning and such. Okay, Red, thanks for telling me. So the tapple allows us to influence others. How very interesting. Yeah, it's a, a tiny bit helpful. Influence comes at a cost. And until we know what that cost is, the only reasonable approach is a cautious one. <clears throat> you have the ability to manipulate people, make them bend your every whim, and you'd be cautious about it. <laughs> That's no fun. Um, such powers could be useful. Pick the bottom one. Yeah. Makes sense. Can we climb up this? Aha, we can indeed. Looks like the booth got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. That wall is dangerously weak. Could I hit this? From water deep. Uh, hit this with a magic missile. Level one. Oh, it was that an accident. My bad. that load game. <laughs> Hello. No go inside. Inside boring. Oh, the inside's boring? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go inside anyway. Arcane hunger. Boy, my people came a visit. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. What do you have it's to share? It's not a matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. Okay. You see, I have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly what is it arcane hunger <laughs> the specifics are rather personal but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with though not without some effort what it comes down to is this every so often I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside um, okay. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just well, it would be me helpful if you did. It's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last conceived an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It is time. And by that, I mean it's imperative. 
that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. So, yeah, where do we where do we find that? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Okay, so keep you back at camp. <laughs> uh... Splendid. A bit of boldness will serve us well. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. items for him. Oh, that hit the spot. You're a junkie. You can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I hate to point out, but no less dangerous. It sounds like a real demon. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But Can we time, cure this? All will be I don't want to keep giving you my magic. <laughs> I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. Mm -hmm. Metaphorical demon. I hate to point okay. out, but no less dangerous. It's not so bad once you get it. Sincerely, though. My lord, I bow. Is the wagon. Oh, now you're just a Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Who's Saluna? Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. <sighs> Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! So are we. Start your business. Now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. What? Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Why? Okay. I want to customize my dice. I like the the regular. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> super failure. That's not gonna go well. Roll again. I did it! Success! Right! Well! <laughs> Amazing! You ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific though, mate. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. Um. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? The Drow. That's tough. 
Um, priestess gut. Might feel different once she puts a burning brand here. Maybe. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> Do we have anyone small to go through a burrow hole? I'm way too big. small person anything up here Hey, don't say mean things to me, whoever that was. Oh, hey guys, who's this guy? Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rats? Please, stop! Hey. Good to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. No thanks. Say will take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach. Until you rest. That's rude. Didn't even need it. What? Think you could do better? <laughs> Go on then. I'm at it. What? You shy or something? Haha, <laughs> punk. Go away. Fine. Muck it up. The trowel of your head. Come on, Crush. There might still be a slurp of ale to be had. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah. Beating it good. What? The prisoner? What's up, Liam? Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Boom. Easy peasy, Liam. We got you. The lock clicks and opens. You should probably leave now. Unless you have helpful info for us. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yeah. Elsie. Yeah, tell me about I, him. I don't know. He changed into a bear, but 
I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. They'll... They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. We... Uh, I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the, the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins. What is the Night Song? But they ambushed us. What does it do? I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... so efficient. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Baroakin would reward us if we found it. He should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but... when we arrived... <sighs> mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a, a passageway to the night song. Brian had instructions, but... the, the goblins got him. They... They said they eat him. I, I have to go. I have to get out of here. I have one last question for you. Never mind. I don't see ya, I guess. Which one are you? Abrid... Abridrak? How's it going, man? You got a kink, kinky outfit on. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah, yeah, he looks like are it. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Please. The things they do to that man. Oh. So cruel. He's already gone, dude. We I got him out of here. I to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I realize this looks strange, but I assure you, it is a most intimate form of worship. You're weird. Pain is a You're a weird guy. Thing. But trying to explain it to these goblins has proven. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Kinda. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Ow. As the maiden of pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance administered by my skilled hand. What does that my mean? My work can grant <laughs> peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Your hide, your choice. Not quite my cup of tea though uh, no I thanks. thought you would prove <laughs> interesting I guess I was mistaken yeah you were my bad dude thought I let uh, I kind of led you on there
Is this rescue Volo? Yep. Hey, Gribbo. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. You want to get the heck out of here? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Just curious. Then catch one on your own. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Um, your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Add the bonus. Easy peasy. Take him for a joke, why don't ya? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. He's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thanks, lady. Uh, the key's already, the door's already open. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite safe. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Mm hmm. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Yeah, totally. Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. Sounds I'll good, dude. Away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. What if the potion wasn't invisibility? What if, like, what if you just had the wrong one? Rescued. Don't you sign. Oh, Again. Oh, that thing? Okay, that one is kill all three leaders. Okay. That's fun. What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where the adventure is coming. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But scouts said they heard something moving around out there. Something big. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. Yes? Hey guys. The scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue. A limb. There ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. Were we supposed to talk to her? To reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens. As a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear, one of those the voice spoke of, one of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul in such a grotesque form. You're grotesque, actually. The absolute nah, has a you're place fine. in her heart, even for death here. Her heart is more generous than mine. Join my hunt, fairy, and obey me. Uh. 
Interesting. What do you know of this druid? There is no power except for the Absolute. If you are... sick, speak to the Goblin's Priestess. She too is a true soul. I have not seen this druid, but he harbors worshippers of a false god in a hidden grove nearby. I intend to find it and destroy it. There okay. is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the absolute snare. She can't tell that we have it when we think about it. The weapon the absolute seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. The cultists cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. My patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Destroying it will demonstrate our power. Soon, all false gods will cower before the Absolute. Okay. I would expect nothing less. Together, we shall burn it to the ground. And when we destroy the trappings of this false god, the Absolute will reward us with such power. The last I sent did not return. Dead at the hands of those they seek, no doubt. Yep. I would take greater pleasure in killing them myself than in sending them to die in the woods. And the occasional mass execution does wonders for discipline. One, we captured a human who knows exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. Is that the one we let go? Tell me what you know. The Absolute will reward us with such power if we find this place. Easy. Easy buckets. Fool! You have fallen for his lies. We know that area well. There is nothing hidden there. We will have to do this the hard way. Scour the area and hunt them down, then report back to me. Two souls are infected like us. Why do they think they're talking to a god? There's no talk. You eat the chef. Spike always makes him talk. If he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. for guessing what this the weapon prisoner they're after really tongue. is. Spikes the artifact. Okay, so we are supposed to kill that person. At least give me a sword. We want you dead, you dumb knuckle. Personal dead quest. Explore the power the parasite gives you. What the heck just happened? Druid's Grove. So I need to kill these goblins. The drow is called Minthara. What's the best way to kill these people? Sugon the 
turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. Okay. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. Hey, man. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Good to know. But it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. What sort of plans? No true soul yet who turned their back on the absolute. You choke on black smoke. All right, hopefully this doesn't work. Close his incantation. I command you, corpse, speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I call that Shulko Corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Easy buckets. We're too good at this. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. What did the killer want? Raxlin scowls, shocked by his own words, and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. He is suspicious, confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Chasing that ship. The Gith were the ones on the dragons? Lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... 
Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Are you pointing at me? Persuasion. <laughs> oh, bruh. I got hella persuasion abilities. Easy buckets. What's a 25? Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses, silent once more. Can I persuade you to kill no, yourself? No, I'm not done! Riddles, all of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Like I said, I got plans for you. Report to the Drow. Minsar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. We'll think about it. Say that again. Because I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute. Yeah, maybe not fully. So we're going to load that save. Okay, so we have collected two explosive barrels. Which is probably pretty good. What's this? War drum. I just want to set something down. We need him alive. Break his bones instead. Start with the fingers. Um, can I just have you set Spike that down? Your lady chef. Spike always makes him talk. Can if I... he doesn't, I'll cut out his tongue. If he don't have a tongue, he can't tell us nothing. The prisoner can keep his tongue. It's spikes I'll be removing. I just want to set the barrel down. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But Scout said they heard something moving around out there. Something bad. It's not our concern. Our prey is elsewhere. What 
we waiting for? Spears are sharp. The lads are all riled up and ready. You have already failed me once. And now, where to question me? I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your lady said. Okay. Honest, I didn't. Life, much like your words, is meaningless. Well, end the Save game. <laughs> Now we're just gonna, uh, yeet a fireball. Can't afford to stay idle. They're still alive. Bruh. Oh, we killed that guy. <laughs> okay, so who's first? Asterion? Won't work. On the move. Okay. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Move to them. So you're gonna Many of these guys are coming. Damn critical hit. Okay, that was rude. Stop throwing acid at us. of attack what is it this one's sacred flame
ranged attack. If I have advantage, uh, then that one. Interesting. The host is dead, but the parasite is still alive. Those explosive barrels were very useful. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Follow your instincts. Don't be afraid. memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Okay, so what did that do for me? This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. What did it do? So, you've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. Yes. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. But <laughs> not a bad How deal, did it help I'd us? Say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. I admit, I wasn't keen to be the first to try it, uh, just in case there were any, uh, surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. I might just hold you to that. Okay. we go up here just for no reason there's still a thousand bad guys in here might as well we go through this guy's oh, thing you taste the ale on his the visions clap the elves seems i ain't done with you she's mounting an attack on that blasted grove praise the absolute
that the jingle of coin I hear? Maybe. You've timed it well, my friend. What do you Already have for me? Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Okay. Weapons and other exotic what goods. What do you have for sale? Enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? Okay. We look pretty cool now. We gotta figure out how to kill all these people. Uh, you guys got any extra barrels anywhere? Explosive ones, preferably. I just check up here with you guys if that's alright. to say for your journey is just beginning what would suit the occasion hmm the words to a lullaby perhaps the mouse smiled brightly it outfoxed the cat I don't understand and what's happening came the claw and that love was that <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. Okay. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. What? What the heck? There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest. And the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Call it a ninth sense. You're a demon. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head one skull two tenants and no solution in sight i could fix it all like that <laughs> everything is for sale yeah and you do well to sell while your stock has value in desperate times the price of honor plummets perhaps you haven't yet realized how desperate these times are. You will. 
Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. No thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna let the story Such play out. Tease. I'll be around watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms. Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? No. One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay. Can we shut these doors once I get in here? Don't worry. Wait, I gotta... Gotta put my, um... My explosive barrel right next to him. Gonna explode next to you. <laughs> Just thought you should know. That one is the smoke powder. Being arrested for. Did we kill him? Is he dead? Let's go. Let's play. God, these people are pissing me off. All right, so Gale and Shadow Art are gonna get ruined. Oh, he missed. I just need to make sure Gale doesn't die. Boom. That's what's up.
swords meet sorcery. Boom. Okay. Boom. Finally, that person shows up. everybody we killed them all I don't know where I knocked that other I think I knocked him down the hole We just gotta figure out how to get out of this stupid place. alone? from here.
nothing will stand in my way. Step. Blood comes easy these days. <coughs> okay. Bro, you were trying to eat me. You. I, I just needed, well, blood. There in the dim fire. Also, I'm taking a long rest in the middle of this goblin camp. <laughs> a vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds. Whatever I can get, but it's not enough. Not if I have to fight or feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. Probably, oh. yeah. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Yeah, man, I got you. I got you. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? You gonna bite my neck? Does it have to be my neck? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Okay, that's enough now. Cool, cool, cool. We're not doing that again. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Okay, have fun. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks off, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. All 
Alright, everyone's feeling good now. Okay. I think that's where we're gonna leave it. Okay, so we spent quite a bit of time in this goblin camp just trying and failing to, to beat a lot of enemies. I, I reloaded many, many saves. <laughs> um, but so far, we have killed two of the three, uh, like, goblin leaders that we were tasked to kill. We have to kill one more lady. Um, I did, I did Google, um, cause I was like, I was, I was really struggling. So I was like, what is the best way to do this? Um, and I saw that the best way is to kill those first two, which I did, and then go free uh, our druid friend, who's a, a bear right now, and then he'll just attack like everybody. Uh, and so that is a good thing uh, cause he'll just like kill all the, all the people that we need killing, right? <laughs> and then, and then, uh, it leaves the last person a lot easier to kill. Um, so that is the plan for next time. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Having a lot of fun still. Um, I'm trying to figure out like the best, most creative ways, or not the most creative ways, but the best ways to go around things and, and, not necessarily the most straightforward, like not just doing like, bam, main attack, right? Um, Cause I mean, it's helpful, but uh, I gotta get better at other stuff too. So um, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, if you enjoyed this gameplay, please leave a like on the video, it means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna support me outside of YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon that is linked in the description down below. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.